What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some things that the Bungie team has been discussing on Twitter about looking at uh, kind of in the future for updates, some things they want to fix, some things they want to change. And Bungie has definitely um, done a better job on Twitter since the Final Shapes launch uh, about communicating with the community overall, kind of asking questions and giving answers. But today I just want to talk about some of the stuff that has been discussed. Now we may see some of this in uh, part two of the Echoes episodes here soon when they release but some of this stuff i'm sure we'll probably see later down the road so kind of keep that in mind but i just want to talk about some of these changes that they're looking to make first of all they talked about prismatic hunters uh being a bit overpowered you know overperforming in pve and pvp so they're looking to change that or you know nerf them a bit in the future uh they said also they're looking at different reprised weapons and there's been a lot of questions on twitter to the bungee team about what weapons may be brought in the future you know that we have seen in the past that could be reprised they said they had no specific weapons yet they could promise but they do have a list that they're passing on to the development team so we may start to see some more of these reprised weapons being brought into the game also there was no plan to convert ascendant shards to glimmer for avid grandmaster farmers now, I do see a bit of an issue with this, especially last week when I farmed the Grandmaster because it was double drop. You only can hold 30 alloy, uh, 30 ascendant shards, kind of like the 99 strange coins, and 100 prisms. And if you do play Grandmasters a good bit, um, or really any ritual activity, you can rack up on a lot of these materials. And in the past, we did have the option to, you know, allow some of these materials to go to our Postmaster uh, you know, if we were full, but that's not the case anymore since they did raise the amount that you can keep. So a lot of people were wanting, you know, the ability con to convert those ascendant shards to glimmer. As of right now, there's no word on anything they're going to do. They're definitely not going to do that. There's no word on maybe even raising the amount that you can hold, which I kind of wish they would. Uh, right now, I'm just pretty much wasting mine to get rid of them. Uh, if I'm farming Grandmasters, which I've done a lot this week as well. As soon as I get enough Ascendant Shards, um, what I'll do is I'll just go in and find some good gear that I have that may be exotic or something like that or legendary that I may or may not have in the past actually upgraded. I'm just go ahead and going ahead and upgrading it just to get rid of those you know, Ascendant Shards, which is not a bad problem to have. But at the same time, a lot of people have been talking about an increase in the amount of Prism Shards, Alloys, uh, Strange Coins that you can hold. So hopefully we'll see something about that in the future. Uh, they said also the Glimmer drop rates are likely going to be increased due to the widespread shortages after the Legendary Shard deletion. And that is true. Um, you know right now, if you're going in and rolling weapons, maybe from Iron Banner or Vanguard or whatever the case could be, uh, you will actually get, you're, you're burning through a lot of Glimmer. And we don't really have the option to gain a lot of Glimmer back by you know selling certain material as well as we did in the past, unless you have a, a, you know, a bank full or a post box uh, maybe full of some materials that you've uh, kind of kept over the years just for you know selling back to get glamour so that's something they're looking at as well they said they're also aware of the drop rates of a, uh, the exotic class items in the pale heart or just the length of time in rng it takes to get specific roles they said no specific timeline or when they're going to do this but there will likely be changes coming and this is due to, you know, if you don't always have someone to play Dual Destiny with, you can go into the Pale Heart and, you know, farm those chests to get those class item drops. Now, I've only done the quest on one character so far. I am going to do it on my other two eventually. But it does take a long time. I've gone into the Pale Heart when I'm just, you know, solo by myself trying to farm these chests. And sometimes you can get an exotic class item fairly quickly. And sometimes it feels like it's 50 plus chests before you can get one. So that definitely is something that they're looking at to improve. Because a lot of times I feel like I'm getting the same. I've not deleted any of my roles, but I get a lot of the same roles where it'll be one of the same, you know, perks on each individual uh, class item and only a variation of maybe one or two on the, you know, the other role. And so I feel like there's a lot of roles out there that, you know, I've not had the chance to get yet because just the RNG has been kind of weird for it for me anyway. They said some guns are not. Uh, taking enhanced perks as they should, and that will be fixed in the future as well. I said they're also going to give uh, give about some more feedback on the stasis, uh, the stasis, stasis. Excuse me, buffs, which still feels kind of 
not as good as the other subclasses, even after the buffs that it had received. And also, they're still discussing Titans. They said there will be Titan buffs due to it falling way behind in both PvE and PvP use. So, Bungie has already talked about this a little bit a couple of weeks ago. Prismatic Titans are not as good as Hunters or Warlocks, of course, on the Prismatic side. And I still feel like if you just go with a straight build of, um, you know, just a specific class like Stasis Strand, something like that, the Titans are still not as good as they were before the final shape due to all the changes that they made to even Banner of War and things like that. So a lot of people have really feel like the Titan is way behind in PvE and PvP. And Bungie has definitely acknowledged that, saying that that will be fixed. Hopefully, we will see some of these changes that I just discussed um, being added into the next part of the episodes. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Some of this may not be, you know, added into the game or updated for a little bit. But hopefully, we'll see all these changes in the next coming months. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.